Hi everyone, I'm Leo and welcome back to our App Inventor tutorials. So today what we are going to do is procedures in App Inventor. So this procedure is like uh, functions in other programming languages. So our setup is very simple, just a button and also a label to display our results. So let's move to the blocks view. So here, uh, can you see the purple box is the procedures? In App Inventor, there are two different type of procedures. One is uh, we call these procedures to do something for us. Another is it return a result. So uh, for more complicated uh, operations, we we are usually use the, the first procedure and for calculation we can just use the returning results kind of procedure so uh, what we want to do is when we click the button we call the procedure to do something for us and let's go to the first procedure first it will do something for us so here we can call the procedure when we click the button and we can also rename it um, for example if uh, I want to change the display of our label so I would call this procedure 1 and we simply change our label test and Here, just type in anything you want, and we may also need to set up another procedure for later testing. Uh, this time, we just simply return a test. So that's our setup. It's very simple. Let's test our procedure run first. And let's, let's open our emulator. Okay, here. Uh, uh, when we click the button, it's just simply call the procedure. Just like uh, if we simply uh, do the functions here, just set our test. So if we exchange these two things, it simply means the same thing. So the procedure, why do we need a procedure? Because if uh, sometimes we have too many things to do and the things will replete, Many times we can use the procedure to simplify our applications and reduce the application size. Uh, for the returning type of procedures, what we need is here, we go to our test, our label, and we set our test to the procedure return. So this blocks return this procedure so we can try it again and you can see it just changed to procedure 2 so another thing that uh, is very important about procedure is uh, here can you see the, the little gear in the procedure blocks so we can put some inputs in it so what it means is if we have some calculations we can call the procedure with the user's input to change the results so for example we change it to this one we input a test in it and we set our labels test into the input so here, 
when we want to call the procedure one again this time you can see we have here an X the X means we need an input so we need an input here and we can try our apps again and so you can see uh, we can use input to change what we want to do in procedures so I think this is pretty much about this lesson uh, about the procedures and this is the 10th lessons of our app inventor tutorials and I think I have already uh, we have already covered many different operations in App Inventor and there are still many different kinds of uh, tutorials videos on YouTube or on other websites and I may stop our tutorials series here and in the future I will continue make uh, continue to make other programming tutorials so I will see you in the future goodbye